Hello and welcome to episode 56 of the In General Podcast, brought to you by Jurassic Outpost. My name's Jack, I'm joined with Ryan. Hey dude. Hello. And I'm joined with Chris. How's it going? It's all good, man. So let's talk about Jurassic World 2. Or Jurassic World 2? What's other that? Words known as... Sorry. <laughs> Jurassic Park 5. Jurassic Park 5. <laughs> <laughs> or, or also known as Ancient Futures. Ancient Futures. Or so, Two Jurassic too furious <laughs> Jurassic World the the ancient future would have been cool I like Jurassic... ancient futures ancient futures is a great title it's fucking it's, mysterious yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be weird to break away from that title now because yeah I, I've stopped using the hashtag but wait Instagram. why are we breaking away from the title guys oh, because it's now officially called I don't want to say it. <laughs> no one should. Say it. It's too. It's too big. It's too big for me Fallon, to handle. Fallen, Fallen, Kingdom. <laughs> Fa- Fallen, Fallen Kingdom. Jimmy Kai Fallon's Fallon. Kingdom. Kai- Kai- Jimmy Fallon's Kingdom. No, it is called you know Jurassic World Fallen. I want to call it the Fallen Kingdom. I know, Fallen Kingdom. The urge is there. It's weird. It doesn't really follow the naming ideology of the franchise, which, given we've only had one subtitled sequel now, but I really feel like it should be like. Would you have preferred? Would you have preferred the Fallen Kingdom and then subtitled Jurassic World? Yes. Mm, No. But I would be happy with Jurassic World: The Fallen Kingdom. I like Jurassic World left as the title. Obviously, this is the new franchise. We've talked about this. Jurassic World is going to remain. Yeah the staple title it's just it it is a little weird even though we have seen like well the previous tagline so i mean it was kind of like what what chris wants you know the lost world jurassic park this is the first time that we're seeing like a jurassic title with a tagline or the subtitle beneath it yeah and it just feels a little weird but i think i like it's weird are the two words like i think i would just rather have it be like even like if it wasn't beforehand like if it was after the title so if it was like jurassic world and then the subtitle I still wish it had the in front of it. I know that's super, super, like, minor, super picky, super silly, but I think Jurassic World, The Fallen Kingdom, sounds better than Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. It, it reads better. It, yeah. But so so today, they we were all kind of waiting for an announcement, and even though Bayona and Frank Marshall had said soon, we all kind of assumed the 22nd, because it kind of marks the one year to release. Um, and we were right. Today, they announced the title... Uh, along with revealing a brand new poster and logo, so I I'm a big fan of the logo. I like that logo. It's you know what? I I do like it, but I w- I'm just gonna be honest with you. The more and more uh, the more material that's come out from Jurassic World onward, I've realized the Jurassic Park logo just does not translate to 3D as well as you would think. Like it, the more simplistic the Jurassic Park logo is, I generally think the better it looks. When you start getting full 3D logos, it starts to look a little more clunky. How, however, that said, I dig it. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 even more in line with Lost World. It's got such a Lost World vibe. It's got cracks. Well, it's funny because it's, it's this is what we talked about. This is like literally we're like <laughs> we want it to be like the Lost World. The only difference is it's missing the uh, magma fissures, which is what I was talking about. Like, oh man, it'd be cool if like you had little cracks of lava coming through. But well, where these cracks are is what I imagined. I just imagine it glowing from the inside. Hypothesis theory. The I next. I wouldn't be surprised if this poster evolves over time and we eventually start to see that. Kind of like what we've been doing with the website. I, I'm just just throwing it out there. Well, oh I, Ryan, I I, Ryan, I you think... reckon you realize that we changed the website? You reckon, you you reckon never that they throw that poster out? Th- <laughs> Sorry. You never commented on the logo changing. Yeah, me and, or the... me and Chris were waiting to see who'd be the we first one to be like, nobody ooh, noticed. the new header. <laughs> we just thought that you guys never noticed because nobody said anything. Well, no, it was clean. I mean, it was great. I I thought I commented on it. I was like, oh, cool, badass. I mean, if you just said well, okay, anyway, maybe we didn't I, I, talk I really, about the website. Um, I very much love the new logo oh. um, and Ryan you could be right I think over time we will see it evolve I definitely don't think this is the final logo no I mean even with, with the way the, with the way that they handled the Jurassic World marketing there's no way this is the final final logo yeah um, I definitely think they'll be polishing up the the, the words Fallen Kingdom because they don't sit on there too well yeah. at this point yeah it's a bit rough to look at and it doesn't look symmetrical when you're looking at it but Has... it is but it doesn't look it it's 
it does it's really strange. It looks yeah, like it's it favoring is. the right, doesn't it? Because of the uh, M, because the M angles outward. The M, it. the M sticks out less of the to the bottom circle than the F and the A. There's more. There's two. Oh, it's really it's, hard. It's centered right. So there's two the letters. There's F A on the far left, but then the O on the far right is kind of O M. You know, on the board. Yeah, I mean it is centered properly, but it it does look a little odd. I don't know. I, I like it. I would shrink the spacing between the words, but then you've got a gap under the dress. Well, it's a difficult one to do a subtitle on this logo. But in previous things we've seen, if it's been um, not films but other Jurassic stuff, they've exp- like Jurassic Park builder logo. They've kind of put the subtitle into the bottom circle. Yeah, which um, works. Which kind of looks better. Yeah. I mean, just because of the space you get on the far side, which is why they've done the spacing so far on the text. But I, I don't think this is final because it wouldn't be final for me. It doesn't look. I mean, it looks the text better. Seems a bit odd. Yeah, it looks better than the first Jurassic World logo we got. Um, and I don't mean the shitty one. I mean like the first like one sheet we got for Jurassic World. That one never sat entirely well with me. I don't know if you uh, do. You have the HD copy open that I uploaded to the website. mm Hmm. Um, just, there's so much more texture inside of this, and the texture makes a lot more sense than the initial Jurassic World logo. And I love how there's like um, little pieces of rubble sitting on the left-hand side of the plaque right. on uh, the logo. I don't know. There's just something about it I love, and the cracks. Are no, just... it's it's lovely. It's it's cracking like the earth would crack. Yeah, like the ground. Like it dried would crack out, or like something's erupting from underneath. Ooh. You guys think we'll see like an actual Jurassic World logo from the park, sort of? Maybe from a building that's fallen down and then cracked in the ground or something. Do you think we'll kind of see that? I don't think they had any logos in the park. I yeah, mean, not for Jurassic World at least. Everything well, was two D. Hey? At yeah. least from from what we they saw, had, everything looked. 2D. They had the round Rex logo painted on things, but it never said yeah. Jurassic World. And I don't think we've ever like I don't think they had any plaques yeah. of it. I mean, they missed an opportunity there. They could have had the logo in the ground, like you know, on Main Street, on the ground built. You know what I mean? Kind of raised off the ground a little bit. It would have been cool. And then to have it cracked in this movie would be sweet. Yeah. With lava running through it. No, I mean, I... Hashtag lava, am I right, I absolutely want to uh, go into Photoshop with this logo, and I might do it later, and just kind of put, like, a little bit of, like, the idea of magma underneath the cracks in the logo. Because it just goes with it so well. We should just ask James McQuizzle for his Well, oh, yeah. I mean... Aside from looking at the logo itself, I mean, look, <clears throat> breaking down the rest of the poster too, there's obviously a clear, clear indication of some hot, embery, fiery substance that is going to be alluded to this movie. Yeah. Because not only um, are embers, I mean, flying across, but you have smoke as well. So even well, though we're not is, seeing it quite the key, in the logo, right? This is the the secret. I mean, I guess we should just say it. I mean, the the story is Alan Grant. <laughs> gone to the island after it was abandoned. He's living in a tree, drinking his. And below away. said tree, yeah, yeah. <laughs> below the tree, he has a campfire, and he accidentally sets and the island night, on fire. Mm, one night, he the campfire got too roaring. He passed out. The next thing he knows, he's surrounded by fire. <laughs> next thing you know, you're on fire. Yeah, <laughs> it, it happened. He has to. It he has to, to the best of leave us. the island. G I Joe. <laughs> <laughs> So the story um, focuses on one character, and that is Alan Grant. Um, there are no dinosaurs <laughs> featured. And it's his drunken escapades. Spoiler alert, there are no well, dinosaurs it, in this movie. Yeah, it's it's more of an art piece. Um, from what we've seen, uh, it's mostly single shots where the camera doesn't move, and Alan Grant sort of stumbles towards the camera surrounded by flames. Right. Um, right. It's, pretty, it's pretty arty. I well, mean, it, it speaks to, you know... Those with a higher IQ. Yeah, You're absolutely right, Jack. Um, I mean, and he's so and he's dumbos out there and, shouldn't watch. And they've talked about how character driven this movie is going to be too. So it, it only alludes to just how much of Grant uh, we're going to see, and how much mm. of his personality, and kind of where he's at in his life right now. Because even uh, Sam Neill has said, you know, like mm, uh, he might be dead. So <laughs> Sam Neill might be one. dead. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Grant. <laughs> I was but, like, damn, man. No, no. Well, Sam Neil said. Last time I checked. Sam Neil said Grant might be dead, but he's not. Uh-oh. And this not is yet. gonna this is gonna be not the story yet. of that. This is gonna be a campfire mm. tale, brought to you by uh, Alan Grant. <laughs> he's gonna it's gonna be fantastic. He's gonna, so he's on that note, guys, great speaking with you. And, uh, and uh, 
farewell. Uh, yeah. He's gonna play <laughs> the raptor brain or the the nasal passage thing like a harmonica next to the oh <laughs> dude he's and gonna like play it away. like gonna... in prometheus and he's gonna like control the island like he'll just have a spaceship oh, just God. like <laughs> oh that would be a weird way to take the franchise though let's be like could you imagine in six or so years we just like we're all sitting there watching this new jurassic and it's we, alan grant we finally get bearded, living on the island massive beard bearded like, grant yeah <laughs> just, <laughs> he's like a jesus oh. type figure <laughs> Where he this just, is my island. He's he, killed all the dinosaurs on it. He walks like uh, he among found, he, the raptors. Just, I mean, they, I mean, yeah, he's, arms he's out. got his own pack of raptors that I mean, really don't like. I him. think the the best thing you could you know compare it to is really Swiss Army Man, but this is Grant's version of Swiss Army Man. It is, um, as well as uh, I've forgotten that uh, Scottish film with what's her face in. You know the one. Oh, that one. Scottish face, Scottish face, Scottish face with her fur, with the fur in. Um, it's it's a great movie. We've all seen it. It's fantastic. Um, and you guys are going to see it next year. It's called Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom, and it stars Alan Grant. Fallon. only Alan Grant. And Jimmy Fallon on rare and occasions. Jimmy Fallon, of course, because it's Jimmy Fallon's um, kingdom. Um, okay, no, for real though. I think I want to because otherwise I'll forget. Um, this really. The uh, embers in the background and everything like that, this is the exact art that was on display at the licensing expo. Yep. And some of that art brought it to another level, where there were mountains and volcanoes behind them and like actual erupting flames and um, dinosaurs. Uh, so, yeah, these little embers, they're mu- part of a much bigger picture. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's also where they debuted the Life Finds a Way tagline. Yeah, which is um, as a tagline brilliant yeah i love it couldn't find I mean, a really a better one i mean tagline too no it's kind but, of insane that they never used it already <clears throat> well, it's been long enough now from the first film yeah. that it's it makes so much sense to use it now i'm glad they didn't use it for jurassic world like this this seems way more logical well yeah. i mean and you obviously it would be weird if i mean it, had they used this tagline for the first jurassic world we probably yeah. would have all been like, holy shit, Malcolm's back. Or maybe Mal- yeah. Malcolm's in this movie. And we would have all freaked out. But, I mean, obviously he's going to be in this movie. Here's the kicker, though. Because we've talked about... We've talked about Malcolm's role. And... So, obviously, this is the first tagline. Life finds a way. This is a very Malcolm-predominant line. We know he's going to be back in the movie. Judging from filming so far, we're, we're kind of guessing as to how much time he's actually going to be having in the movie what do you guys think i mean this is kind of to me this is like okay maybe malcolm could have a bigger role in the movie if, if they're using a line like this i feel like there's obviously multiple meanings behind it it alludes to the to the story as i would well like as tags to... to malcolm but i mean i i don't think i don't think the line is malcolm's line anymore to be honest with you i think the franchise owns life finds a way aziz would think... say how dare you but no, I mean, I'm be- I know that Malcolm is the one that said it, but I think it's become so synonymous with the message behind Jurassic Park and the franchise and the sequels that have gone on um, that I don't think the line is, strictly speaking, is a direct reference to Malcolm, but really the themes at play in the Jurassic Park films. So I wouldn't read into the line too much as like a statement on Malcolm, but rather a statement on... What? Okay, what the hell is was that? Was that sound? a missile that just dropped <laughs> on <out laughs> someone's house? <laughs> Did anybody else hear Sorry, that? Guys. What was um, that? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm living next to an airport at the moment. Oh, I probably okay. should have closed the windows before we started recording. <laughs> Give it to me. You know I can't stop this plane. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's Cooper. <laughs> Give it God. to me. Without the- it's get out the way. Give it to me. I, I've watched it enough times now. Where it, it, he, you can barely make it out though. It's like get out the way. You're like what? Get out the get way. Get out the way. Yeah, but I, see, I've never literally. I grew up knowing that line. Get out the way. I'm amazed. I'm just amazed to, to speak to you and re- like realize that this whole time you thought he said. <laughs> he said <laughs> when I was Give listening to, to that podcast, over. and when you brought it up, I was like, the fuck is Ryan talking about? <laughs> Give it to me! Give it to me! <laughs> like, get out the way! I always loved the way he delivered that line as well. I always thought it was such a get out the way. Get out the no, way. I'm gonna kill you, man, if you don't get out the way. Yeah, no, you felt yeah, it. Yeah, I guess uh, so. But you know what the problem is? I watched, you know uh, I watched is, JP3 Ryan? recently, and uh, 
I I don't think I can watch that scene the ex- same ever again. I can't really like I don't <laughs> take Jurassic Park three very seriously anyhow. But yeah, now I one hundred percent like just it's for whatever reason. Even though I always do is get out the way. I for some reason I like right then I was like give it to me. I'm like fuck. Because dude, I said it out loud and I was watching it with a few people. I was like, what? Because it sounds so <laughs> give it cool. To me. That's why. <laughs> give, give it to me. Like, give you what? Nash? Give it to me. I don't have anything. Yeah, g- literally, like, it's the wrong person to be given. Like, <laughs> he's gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I, it takes such, like, a dark guys, tone. Like, he's just, years, like, sadistically I, enjoying. You know, I can't stop this play. Give yeah. it to me. I, give it to me. I struggle to find meaning as to what that what that entails. And I'm like, does he mean, like, he needs a lift off? Give it to me. I, I need to, like, I need to get off the, this, off the ground. <laughs> I need like what? Uh, it, it. Oh, guys! While while we while um anyway we're giving I don't know while we're giving it to me. Can I just <laughs> just go back trap back to this poster for a sec? Um, it's got a legendary logo on it. Yeah, I, Josh was the one that noticed that. I didn't even pick up on that. Yeah, I honestly thought legendary had nothing to do with this film. Um, I guess they funded it. I was wrong. Because the first one was so successful, they must have had a big uh, return on that. So I yeah. guess yeah. I funded. I, I'm but, really uh, surprised that Universal wanted to keep that relationship going. Nothing against Legendary. It's just obviously the franchise is, has proved to be successful. So I don't know why they need like an executive producer position to basically get money for the movies because Universal knows they're going to get the returns. Unless you have a so I thought that budget. You, I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, it is going to be the biggest budget. I mean, all the marketing, like you know, if you go to any of the marketing events, uh, they, you know, they're always saying this is going to be the most money spent on a Jurassic film, probably the most money spent on a single budget for a Universal Pictures movie. It's going to have the most CG, the most dinosaurs, the most everything. So mm. that that said, though, I still think that I thought that Universal would have wanted to cut out any partners that they could. That way they can kind of claim as much ownership as possible. But who knows? I'm sure they have the well, reasons. Guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? I was just surprised to see that. But yeah, the, the poster is lovely. And if you get a chance, go on... Uh, you can go on our Twitter and download the full res that Chris sourced. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, so the full resolution full one kingdom. is fantastic. Like, really, the one that they put out on Twitter, the one they have on their website, it's not full resolution at all. So do yourself a favor. Go download the full resolution one. It's beautiful. We also have it uploaded on uh, our website, but I'm not, like, really pushing that link so our server doesn't get, like, demolished by everyone downloading it. <laughs> so it's not central the uh, text. No? <laughs> no. Wait, really? Um, no. No, it's not. Who who sent you? Um I no, I'm I'm measuring it up myself. It's not. It you is... you need to make a post about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold, hold it, fire. It leans to the gonna... left actually. It does. Yeah. You can tell especially if you look at the lower half of the the logo and the circle. Um, the F A L leans fall the, leans more to the left than the O M. Yeah, it's too far. That's what I said before. It's yeah. the F and the A yeah. are too far over. But I see what you mean. Actually, measuring it out, yeah, it's not central. Huh. Woo! That's pretty goddamn funny. The <laughs> Jack, you gotta tweet that man. Yeah, I actually, will, I will. I'm... honestly, let's make an article so they can fix the goddamn thing. <laughs> You guys uh, don't mess up it. now. You God know how damn it, you, universal. you know how critical and 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 do you know yeah do you know how critical we are of font especially, but oh hey Jack like, fa- Jack what, what's aside. your thought about the font on this logo? Um, well, they're using the official font, which is nice for once. Um, for the actual Jurassic World, they're using the Jurassic World font that they used for Fallen Kingdom. Um, it's I yeah wait what font is that for Fallen Kingdom? King Kong. Uh, it's called Deck. Uh, oh, is that Dectora ICG? That's that's right. Dectora. Uh, that, I'm surprised they're using that for the logo, considering that's not what they're using for Life Finds a Way. Yeah, it is weird, but also I don't think it's a font that. I mean, based on all the graphics I've done before for us, using that font, you know, in the run up to Jurassic World, it's not. It doesn't look good when it's so spaced out. No, I, when it's so far apart, and that's what they've done here. It they, looks good as bold, let, like bold, clean lettering. Dectora Close looks together. really good. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, I, I, after, like, I discovered that font for, like, the lead-up to Jurassic World, I really enjoyed using that font for different projects. Like, I love having that in my roster. Um, She's a good font. She's great good font. font. Great font. She's a great font. She's... It's a good group of font! Good. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna type um, together! Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so, dude, we're all gonna we're all gonna die together. I forgot that was the Philly quote. Oh, it's a good group of boys. We're all gonna die together. Right. So, center of the logo is there. You know, I don't know if life finds a way is even centered underneath the, <laughs> of the logo. Hang on, hang on. I don't think it is. I think it leans to the left more too. Well, it you know, does. it's centered. It's centered on the. How did how does that work? It's, well, I mean, I if guess... it's so I don't know if this is when they like finished no. it, finished it, or if it's just like when they uploaded this file. But my computer says that this one sheet was made on the twentieth, like not five, like two days seven, ago. Nine. So like they might have literally rushed this in to get it finished. Well, Which I still think it's doesn't probably ex- a case that they finalized it. Uh, sorry, I'm doing some analysis. You guys keep talking. I'm going to no, do no, some analysis no. on well, the logo. Well, so, I mean, for people who are listening and probably just like, oh, my. Because <laughs> we're breaking this down. <laughs> Going to JP3 and font analysis. I, I mean, like, what the hell, guys? We should have, I mean, if, if, if you don't listen to us often, obviously, when this, with this being the only thing that dropped today, I mean, it's obviously big, but we're, I mean, we're obviously tearing the shit out of this uh, apart because, I mean, that's what, that's what well, we're going to do. This Especially is our first you guys, chance to sit down and very, analyze it. Like it's not even. Life finds a way is central, by the way. Is it? Yeah. All right. Okay. You know what I really like? There's corrosion on the logo. Like not just cracks. Corrosion is gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Like on the back of the Rex's spine, there's some like, kind of corrosion going on there. Um, and there's a few other spots of corrosion where it's kind of got like those like. It looks acidic. Pock, almost. There's like kind of like yeah, acidic pock marks type thing going on. Yeah, I just really dig it. The whole texture of this logo is just at a it's level sexy. that the guys, last yeah, one wasn't. Fallen Kingdom. Is not central. <laughs> the K is. Um, no. Yeah, that might be the problem. Maybe it is. I don't know. Right, hang on. No, it's really not central. I'll Snapchat you both. Hang on. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty goddamn funny. Yeah, no, there's some, there's some, su- oh. there's some sweet texture in this. Yeah, no, the texture is beautiful. Uh, uh, what's, what's curious though is, I mean, it's not that curious. <clears throat> this is obviously very similar to the Lost World logo with with the, uh, you know, time and breakdown of, the, of mm-hmm. the logo, but no moss, no foliage, very clean, rocky, uh, very stone. So, again, just kind of just <clears throat> allures, alludes to the, uh, the <laughs> little, little hot spot. Because uh, uh, we never mean? really did, I mean, we never did, we, we kind of started talking about it, though, but, I mean, what this is obviously alluding to is, we've confirmed the, the volcano in previous... No. Podcasts. No. Yeah, no. Yeah. We've confirmed speculation about the volcano. I mean... Okay, I mean, it's yes, pretty that's obvious. A, that's a good way to put it, yeah. It's obvi- pretty obvious so much. that it's going in that direction. Yeah, given I mean, the marketing been... materials, the the weird epic a- epoch, epoch, I don't know how you say it, thing that of the past that has recently caused drama. Um, the silhouette. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I'm comparing the Jurassic World logo to the uh, Fallen Kingdom logo, and just the colors on the Fallen Kingdom logo are so much better. Um, in fact, I'm looking at it. It seems to be a variation of that new logo that we've noticed that they've been using. It seems like they took that baseline of colors, like the dark background and the white Rex and everything like that, and uh, then did a lot more with it. Mm. The uh, yeah. if you compare the two colors, like I just think something about the Jurassic World logo, where like the outside's white and then the T Rex is dark and the background's dark, not, it just yeah, doesn't yeah. look right to me. It well, looks the font... cheap. The composition just feels off. And this one, the Fallen Kingdom one, minus the issues with the words Fallen Kingdom, it just the color of the logo, the texture of the logo, it's at a level that I just felt like the Jurassic World one sheet was not. It looks so yeah. much better. It's, it it's looks not, so much better. It's not the same. Yeah, you're right. It's not the same color. Um, as the stone logo behind it, it's got a little off-white eggshell kind of, uh, almost like a beige gray kind of over 
uh, like op- opacity overlay over it. But it's different than that stone. I mean, if you obviously look at the the font compared to the Rex, um, two different colors. You have a, I mean, the the font no, is obviously just a, a shade or two brighter. But it looks, I, I like it. it looks just from good. scratch, it's overall, and it's more reminiscent to, like I said, it's more reminiscent of that current marketing one that they're uh, putting out now. Like the one that we saw for, uh, the new one for Jurassic World, the exhibition, or the one that's uh, on the uh, the right. online slot. And they're just using it for a lot of different things now. I think it's their new marketing logo. Because the mm-hmm. film logos and the branding logos, like the merchandise logos, have mm-hmm. been slightly different. But this time they're more reminiscent of each other. And the merchandising logo is a lot more reminiscent of the film logo. Mm -hmm. And I just, they used a better color palette. Like, it stands out, it looks nice. Yeah, this logo's really growing on me. Even without color, it's really growing on me. Fallen Kingdom, though, just the way it's kind of thrown on there still, yeah. It seems odd. I don't know if it's the font choice. Or what? I don't, it seems almost too small, doesn't it? I mean, it's the Fallen Kingdom, yeah. It does look awkward. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sent. I'm getting this image ready to go to go live. Um, it, it's amazingly uncentered. It's it's funny. You guys see the Snapchat? Uh, hold on. Let me see. I did see my phone light up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hold on. No, I'm. I my phone's slow as hell. Yeah. The the line is directly down the middle of the poster. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just going to tweet this. That's funny. <laughs> I can't... I'm... That picture you just sent me doesn't really contextualize why it's not centered for me. Oh, it's showing you that it's not centered. So I've cut the text. I've cut Fallen Kingdom as its own separate layer, um, as it was from edge to edge of the text. Uh-huh. And then I've... The line, the blue line that goes down the middle of the image is direct center of the image. And you can see that the center of Fallen Kingdom is two spaces to the left or whatever. It's not those two dots on Fallen Kingdom. Have you have be... you tweeted it? I'm about to tweet. Okay, because maybe I'll be able to tell like more what from my computer. Uh, are we going to cut out this middle area? Like this like empty wall right now? <laughs> we're, nah, we're, it's great. People are just <laughs> sitting there going, oh, okay, so these guys have been I... looking into Fallen Kingdom and the centering of it for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Ye- yeah, I think no. we should probably cut this part out, or at least cut out some of the gaps. We'll cut out um, some part. Jack, as soon as you uh, as soon as you get this up, let's continue our conversation. Dude, I'm not editing this, man. No, I mean as soon as you get <laughs> your tweet up, let's continue our conversation more. No, Aziz, Aziz is going to edit this. So, um, so the Fallen so... Kingdom text isn't centered properly on the new logo. Boom, tweeted. <clears throat> hit me, hit me, hit me. What do we? What do we tweet think? Backs? I don't know. Who cares? I'm out. Let's record. Let's start. Hold on, wait, I, I see. So we're starting again. <laughs> we're starting again. What do you think? What do you guys think, though? Now, I mean, of of Fallen Kingdom. What do you think it means? Let's look into its meaning. What does it mean? Um, the kingdom has fallen. What kingdom? The Jurassic Kingdom. Um, no, I think it has a lot of meanings. I, I is think it, that is it I our think, kingdom? Exactly. I think it's a little bit of twofold. I think it's both, and I think it has a lot to do with maybe, on a very shallow surface level, yes, it has to do with the park. The park has fallen, obviously. But I don't think that's the deeper meaning of it. I, you know, I think it has a lot to do with just the kingdom of just mankind's dominance, their arrogance, their... Yeah, there's a lot the, of... Their there's, control. There's a lot of ways that this could go. And I was going to mention this earlier when we were talking about having it be the fallen kingdom, which obviously allures to like a singular, this could obviously, like you had mentioned earlier, Chris, <clears throat> have multiple meaning. Um, I can see this going in all kinds of directions. Yeah. Obviously Nublar. Um, is it mankind's kingdom of uh, an integration of, of what we well, know and, and, and perceive as like, you know, normal, co- you know, cause we don't coexist as we, with these creatures, but if they're all of a sudden integrated into, Obviously, they're not going to, like, disrupt civilization, or are they? But, I mean, there's a lot of ways that this could be looked at. Well, I think it says Fallen Kingdom for two reasons. I think it's a nice kind of representation of the whole idea of a park breaking apart. The kingdom of Jurassic Park has fallen. Uh, The dinosaurs are loose, blah, blah, blah. But I also think we're going to see T-Rex Kingdom again. 
I mean, we know we're going to see <laughs> T-Rex Kingdom again. So I don't think it has to do with that. I mean, <laughs> although they could do, serious. I think I think we're going to spend a lot of time in T-Rex Kingdom. Um, they've built the entire set, so I think it's quite a prominent. We're actually part. going to see it fall down. I, I don't think they. Well, they I, don't, built... I don't mean we're going to see it fall down. I think it. I think it's. I think that clearly plays a large role in the film. They spend a lot of time within the surroundings of T-Rex Kingdom I for mean, whatever reason. I don't think they built the entire set, just to be clear for that. They have built the facade of T-Rex Kingdom alongside other parts of Main Street. But, we, we, you know, they're going back to Main Street, okay? But I'm not really mm. sure Fallen Kingdom really has anything to do like, you know, beyond, I don't think, like, Fallen Kingdom's gonna be like, and inside a T-Rex Kingdom... Oh. Shit happens. No. I um, no. No. I would I would ass, I would assume Dinosaur Kingdom, New Blark Kingdom. Yeah. The new, yeah, exactly. I think that that I think honestly like the the title has multiple multiple levels of meaning. But yeah, right. the the kingdom the surface, of the dinosaurs. Like you had mentioned, yeah. Yeah, the kingdom of the dinosaurs is the New Blark. I think that that is probably another thing to consider is, you know, it, it isn't what it once was, you know, it was once this, in a lot of ways, like, I guess, like, a paradise with dinosaurs living on it, and things are in disarray, and, you know, should the plot go in the direction that we assume it's going, it's, um, things are really just, it's going to be the end. But I, I don't think the title only means that. Again, I think that it has a lot to do with man, our control, our creation, and I think right. that it's just going to take it to another level. On yeah. that level, I like the title, but I feel like the title just sounds a little too like edgy and gritty and dark and serious. Like it, it's like <laughs> Transformers: The Fallen Kingdom. Like you know, Fallen Kingdom. Fallen. It, I really it, do like the Fallen. The Fallen. Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. I. Coming soon. I the the font or the font. Uh, <laughs> the God title's growing on me. I was. It is great. When I first saw it, I was, I was, I mean, I, I still look at it, and again, just having the subtitle beneath Jurassic World alone is weird, but looking at it, I go, oh, okay, Fallen Kingdom, but I like the way it, I like what it could potentially point to. Again, speculation, we don't know exactly where this is leading to, but it, it gets your brain stirring, and it gets you kind of wondering, especially with the logo and what we've seen, and just the, enough tease to be like, you know, and there's been enough in the media, especially just in the past few days of what we've seen in Hawaii something's happening to where shit's going to get real, fellas. Yeah. And whose and who's kingdom is going to fall? Uh, oh, man, there's so much texture on this logo. I'm and just looking at it. Rise. It is so beautiful. It is pretty clean. It's pretty nice. There's just so much. Oh, man, it's good in all the little crevasses. And there's bits of color. There's, like, little bits of, like, brown spots on it. Crevasse. And oh, I, I love sort of how there's, like, a little bit of grain almost like film grain in the fog in the background or not the fog the smoke with like the ash and like the embers blowing around just there's a lot of texture to this logo and i really do like it yeah uh jack you still there yeah oh it's, he's just taking it all in he's just, you've been pulling like an alex inch, he's two inches away from the <laughs> computer just he's really just, pissed off about the fallen kingdom not being centered he was just pulling an alex where he's just listening to us talk and he's making he's he's make are you making tea <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why why he would be making tea. I would assume to maybe calm I, his 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 spirits because he's so so upset about the fallen kingdom being. I don't know. He's pro is he reading something intensely right now? <laughs> yeah, being uncentered. Yeah, the fallen kingdom. <laughs> oh yes, I uh, was supposed. Yeah, I <laughs> have been far too busy. SC's just cut all the shit out. I've been far too busy to even check my email. But yes, I saw that email. Um, Legacy are officially out. Yes. Legacy are officially out, and Scanlan is officially in. Mm. Not that we had any question. Were... Not that we had any question at this point, but... Okay. Professional. I can dig it. We'll, we'll talk yeah. about that uh, when we actually get... <laughs> I, fuck. It. Whatever. Too busy. Um, go on. Let's continue the podcast. Where Sorry, were we? Um, talking about the, the... What it meant. What does it mean? Well, and then... We somehow what do you, always. What do you guys like? If there, if you had full creative control over the logo, what would you like to see maybe on a future iteration of it? 
would you change it or do you think it's fine? Like, I mean, other than the font, I almost would play around with two D. Okay, of, kind of what you had said. I I like the three D aspect, but it's growing on me. But I I I would like I don't know if they are trying to do something edgy. I don't know. Maybe there's just this just. I think, I'm bouncing back and forth, but it speaks so three. It speaks so blockbuster to me. It speaks, and maybe that's I, the point. I think 3D worked for me on the Lost World logo because it was embedded into what looked like a slab of like rock and ground and everything like that. Sure. And when you have like a giant rock floating out there in the fog, it sort of looks a little weird as a logo. That's my own personal opinion. I think it's just because it's freely floating there without any consistency with like the rest of the material around it. That's what sort of throws me, and I know that's a really weird thing. It just for some reason, like it just always sort of throws me a bit. Yeah, I, I almost wonder if they're just going to stick with this sort of style for the third movie as well. I'd assume so. It, Be, it, because there is, I mean, we're, we're almost colorless on this font, on this logo, which would be the first. Uh, well, yeah, red. Well, what's after colorless? <laughs> red, just pure black. A straight up black. Well, the post, Jurassic like, Spinal just Taps album cover. Black just, matte. The f- first. What's more black than black? The first Jurassic <laughs> World logo. It's worth noting the first Jurassic World one sheet. Um, it had no color on it. In fact, this has a little more color than that one. Yeah, I wonder again if it would change. We're obviously. I mean, the only color that we've kind of seen is orange. I mean, there's orange more than anything. Yeah, the. You know what but the it's not in though? the logo. When you paint up these logos with color, it sort of looks a little weird also because you're painting what looks like rock, like orange or blue, and it's not the right type of rock that would be orange or blue. I guess if you change the texture, like if it were, like if you wanted to look rocky and cracked, if you actually looked up the texture of something that exists in nature that's a rock that's orange and you make it look like that and then put it in the background, it could work a lot more. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do think that when you're playing with texture and then coloring it, you have to consider what your eyes believe the material is, is, or at least like what you're supposed to assume, like what it, the material is in reference to. So if you're adding color, you want the color to make sense with the material. Otherwise, it starts to look a little funky. You know, this is going to bring up a pretty... I mean, we have a year now before the movie, and even afterwards we'll probably see something, but... Just in the past few years, and just something I've been following a lot more recently is alternative movie posters and how kind of big and predominant that's kind of making uh, or, or being on the in, in Hollywood right now. Baby Driver, for an example, that's just done by an artist uh, who um, routinely made alternative movie posters, but is now the official poster. If you look up like IMDb, it's the pink uh, illustrated oh, yeah. Baby Driver poster. Um, I love seeing alternative movie posters, and I didn't think that there was enough of Jurassic World. Obviously, Mark Englert's was promotional. That was fantastic. Uh, but it was a style that was different. It was cool. Um, I really hope to see more of that. And even it's if it's for tricky, Comic-Con or something, but it, I, I want artists to jump on this shit and, and really make some cool posters. You know what? It's like... It's hard to find like a ma- like a way to do it for Jurassic that would also be mainstream. Like the uh, the poster for the Last Jedi, I'd say it really uh, invokes a lot of those alternative feelings. Oh, and sure. And yet it also is incredibly it works as a mainstream poster. And I, I'm hard pressed to imagine you know a Jurassic poster that could do the same thing. I mean I don't think it's impossible, but I do think it's harder to integrate the Jurassic World logo if you want that full logo. It starts to look a little tacky on posters. That's why I think they should honestly have a version of the logo where it's just the lettering. Um, that then you could put on movie posters that aren't just the logo. So if you wanted movie posters that mm-hmm. were more art based, don't throw this big logo on. And I would love to see theatrical, like actual theatrical posters, embrace yeah. that rather than just the um, the posters for fans and collectors, like the Mark Englert one, which was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> just. And Universal, all they have to do is really collaborate more with artists to give them... They all, they have to approve of the art, but, I mean, just to give them the licensing rights to promote it. I mean, they can promote it, to, but to sell it, obviously, and, and use it uh, under the Jurassic Tag name. But, I mean, it's 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 something that studios are kind of uh, adopting more of, and I'm just hoping that Universal kind of takes note of this a little bit more. Because, I mean, this is just something that... I mean. Uh, People love drawing dinosaurs. I love drawing dinosaurs. This, the Mondo posters that came out last year or two years ago, worth the variations and, and the artist collaboration, those were badass. Um, 
Well, this... you know what's interesting? I've been trying to draw a poster, and I just don't have the artistic abilities, so it won't ever happen. But it's a picture of Blue, like, kind of top down, and she's drinking from the water, and there's jungle around her. And in the reflection of the water, you see a volcano in the background with, like, a little bit of smoke and glow coming out of it. And it's just very tiny, like, on the bottom of it. So, like, her head's down, the water's down towards the bottom, her body kind of goes up, and then you've got, like, that volcano kind of favoring the left. Ooh, I and, like um, uh, like, something like that could work, probably. Yeah. My, but how, like where the, do you uh, put the title, is my question, like, without it looking mm. tacky? Unless you do, like, a Last Jedi thing where you have, like, a trim alongside the art ask, and then the logo underneath it. Let's ask Jack, shall we? Because he would know exactly where to put the title. Say again? <laughs> <laughs> where have what you are been you doing? Then? I'm here. Just, just say again. <laughs> uh, it, say again. It's too much to go into. Um, anyhow, uh, so on the website, they, as we were talking about earlier, they wrote up a bit of a blog. You call it a blog post, I guess, about this, and they kind of confirmed all the cast. Nobody additional. Uh, they haven't actually listed the name of the girl that plays Lucy, um, but they've got uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, Chris Pratt are joined with James Cromwell, Ted Levine, Justice Smith, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, which is pretty cool. It's nice to see that kind of confirmed in, a, in an official way. Wait, wait, it's on... on the website, all of them together. Or wait, um, you're saying it's on just... their post? On the JurassicWorld.com. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, I see the post. I didn't notice that they I had said all before the names. They, they didn't. I said before they didn't actually uh, just link to a, another website, you know, link to Variety. Yeah. They actually wrote up a blog post, um, and it has all the cast. Except for the girl that plays Lucy, which is mm-hmm. is kind of odd that they're leaving the name out. She when just, I just, I think that she's probably not as big of a role as like past children in Jurassic Park movies, and I'm guessing that this is her probably her first role acting, and maybe her family just wants her to have as much privacy for as long as possible until the movie's out. I guess, yeah. I mean, um, that's a good guess. You know, we we don't know if she's going to the island or not, so it seems. Yeah, I mean, it's a weird one. But you'd think if she was a prominent role, they would just kind of write her alongside uh, all these other actors. But it's nice to see them together. I'm so excited <laughs> to see Ted Levine on camera in a Jurassic movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, no, him and James Cromwell, I'm really excited just to see, like, kind of what their roles are going to be. Uh, totally based off of nothing. They just seem like they're going to play very Jurassic Parky roles. Ted Levine especially, I get such a Dieter Stark, Cross Roland Tembo kind of um, vibe from him. Yeah. Just this kind of motherfucker, but as, you know, he's a badass. Absolutely, no. You definitely get like a been around the block safari mercenary hunter type of dude from his uh, <coughs> character. You always choke. <laughs> 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 yeah, all right, buddy. Oh, nah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I take, um, I think he is like the evil version of whoever Rafe Spall's gonna play. Oh, sorry, Rafe Spall. Uh, I think, uh, I think he's gonna be more of a Nick Van Owen type. Nick! Nick Van Owen! Nick Van Owen. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I can see that. I love that in The Lost World when, uh, you know, how many Sarahs do you think are on this island? Sarah, blah, blah, blah. And then so much later in the film. <laughs> yep. Nick. Nick Hello. Van Owen. It's like his own. It's like he's making a joke to himself. That mm-hmm. that is what Jurassic humor is. Yeah, it doesn't. It's subtle. I mean, that wasn't that one wasn't entirely subtle, but it doesn't call. No, it doesn't bet, stop. I mean, it doesn't as a stop kid, to call attention to it. No, I, as a kid, I didn't stop and think, "Ooh, oh, that's him referencing yeah. at the start when Sarah. How many Sarah? It's just he's saying Nick Van Owen, and then you know, you grow up and you're like. It's yeah, delivered. It's that. delivered like, it's, naturally. Realize, like the character isn't delivering so it for natural. laughs, and that's kind of the, mm-hmm. like I think that's the one thing that Jurassic World rubbed me wrong is a lot of times the deliveries, the line deliveries were for laughs. Like it was very like it called attention. Like we're telling a joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, Check out this joke. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, totally, Chris. It was very, it was very odd in that sense. But yeah, so hopefully we'll see those kind of laughs, that kind of humor, subtle humor. More char- characters having a laugh to themselves in light, you know, trying to be lighthearted in such a drastic situation, I guess, is a good way to describe it. Hopefully we'll see way more of that, and I think with Bayona we will. Uh, and, and with this talented cast list, 
you know, I'm expecting a lot from James Cromwell, Ted Levine, Rafe Spool as well. I've seen him in some really great stuff. If you have you guys watched that Black Mirror episode yeah. that he was in? Yeah, no, he was fantastic in that episode. The Christmas one? Yeah. What the fuck, right? That's a horrible, horrible episode. Yeah, it was. And he plays it dark so well. as anything. And also, he got ripped for Jurassic World 2. Mm. Say. So, like, did, have you seen, like, those, those uh, posts from the gym that he's been attending? Yeah, like, the, uh. Like, he is... Yeah, he was ripping it. He was in... <laughs> like, he, like, he's in shape now when you compare him especially to the Black Mirror episode. Yeah. yeah. No, he's going to be cool. He's a, he's a Nick Van Owen type for sure, Mi- I think. I don't know. I bet you he's playing a Merc. Van Owen. Nick. Um, One thing that I'm, I'm reading that news post that you uh, pointed out, Jack, and I kind of like this little line... Where it's like return of favorite characters and dinosaurs, along with new breeds more awe-inspiring and terrifying than ever before. Oh so, yeah. So that's interesting. They're they're straight up saying the dinosaurs are gonna be more awe-inspiring and more terrifying than ever before. So I think they're trying to say we're doing more scary, but we're also doing more majestic. Like we're doing more of the stuff you love from Jurassic Park, but we're also doing more Indominus Rex. I think mm-hmm. you're. I think you're hoping. <laughs> I think you're hoping that's what they're saying, rather than just marketing lines. I mean, um, but we, we know there's you. a lot. I hope we know there's a lot of new dinosaurs in the movie. What well, the dinosaurs are, I don't know, but we do know there's maybe. a lot of dinosaurs. In the movie. They are pushing the scare factor. They are trying to push that this is something that's going to be a little. That's going to be just scarier than than Jurassic World. Jurassic World wasn't scary, so I mean, that's not going to be hard to accomplish, but. Yeah, it would be cool, but at the same time, it's going to be character driven. So how do you cram that? You know, a shit ton of dinosaurs in there, unless it's in a it's in one scene, like the you know the Lost World roundup scene. So yeah. I mean, it's going to be interesting how they balance and play with all of that. Bigger, I mean, it, it's another way of saying bigger, badder, meaner, more teeth. Rawr, okay. I cool. mean, it's marketing. It's marketing language, through and through. But it it's still. I mean, saying the right things for marketing is the first step to at least implying you understand what people want to see and hear. Yeah, but we hold it, but we hold them to it at the same time. So absolutely. So it's hopefully like I mean again, if that is the case, it's just balanced well. I'd love to see more dinosaurs, obviously, but at the same time, I don't complain about the. Uh, well, if I could, if somebody asked me and said, yeah, I would say yes, I'd love to see more dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. But again, we're talking eight minutes of screen time in that entire movie and I was totally yeah. fine with that yeah and it's a little bit weird though I guess because we do want to see our favorites return and we do want to see new things like could you imagine a Jurassic Park movie without a single T-Rex or without a single Velociraptor like it's like oh shoot or like you know we, we do have our certain expectations to see some of our uh, favorites from the franchise at this point but we definitely have that expectation to see brand new things Mm-hmm. And uh, see dinosaurs doing new things or used in new ways. Like, I would love to see an herbivore as a threat. Um, like, you know, a triceratops. Smash some fools? Yeah, like a triceratops used as an actual threat to the human characters. Like, you don't need to portray it as, like, a monster or anything like that. But, oh, I mean, just like a rhino or, you know, you get too close, you piss it off, and you're in trouble. Well, it's just protecting his baby. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Scenes like, scenes like that. But the difference between that scene is... We saw the Stegosaurus come close to causing damage. I would love to see a Triceratops like flip and stampede like a car or something like that. Well, it did in the Lost World. Yeah, but nobody was in it, or at least nobody that we cared about. No, I know what you mean. Know, it would, like, it would I be would cool love to see, see a Tri fuck someone up. Or something. Yeah, and like actually, like primary characters, like we're watching it from their perspective as these things happen. Did you take rather my baby? Like a, <gasps> rather than just oh. being like a one off and yet. <laughs> You imagine uh, somebody getting impaled on exactly a triceratops Oof. there, getting torn, gored. Torn that would be it'd be, uh, be a rough way to go. that'd be a rough way to go, man. Yeah, yeah. Just like a javelin, man. like just bump, 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 aims its head. Guy turns around, it's too late. Honestly, the thickness of those horns it would just tear you in half. Well, the scene cuts away. Trike runs off, but then there's just dust and a headless body standing. <laughs> and the, bo- and the, just body the, the, head, the body falls. Falls. Damn. You see the head on the Triceratops' yep. <laughs> spike just <laughs> like running away olive. with it. <laughs> a, a carnivorous dinosaur comes off and plucks it off. Or it a just mo- a jerks its head shared. back and 
it flies off way in the jungle and then it just snorts. The pteranodon it. grabs it out. I mean, why aren't we making a draft? I know, right? The, movie, these guys? scenes, the, these are classy, classy scenes akin to Jurassic Park, aren't they? The javelin trike. So, okay, actually, so speaking of the Triceratops, why don't we talk a little bit about um the news that just came out of Hawaii, or in the images that just came out of Hawaii, rather. Spoilers! I mean, I mean the production invited the media to cover that exactly. so this is this is a this is not spoilers people this is something that's been broadcasted literally um what was it if you if you post it first it's not a spoiler that kind of thing what's it if, if you're the first person to post it then it's you know it's not a spoiler you know rules, rules don't apply it's funny. i don't I, um, what? I bet there's i bet there's so many people who search hashtags stuff and then they get pissed when they find out or and find the photo it's like, yeah, at that point you do – I mean, given – you should know who you're following, and if people that you know who are following, they should maybe be, like, a little bit understanding of who they have following them. But if you're actively, like, searching, like, Jurassic World 2 on Instagram or Twitter, you're going to see things, and you cannot get mad at people for sharing things, especially things they're allowed to share. At that point, you shouldn't be on social media. If every little thing is going to bother you as a spoiler – then you need to consider maybe not following that franchise that you love on social media as heavily. It, that's just what it comes down to. If you do want to tune out, there are ways to tune out. You can pick and choose who you discuss these things about. That way you kind of stay out of the loop. I understand the appeal of staying completely out of the loop and seeing the movie with completely blind eyes. I do understand that appeal, but if you're on Twitter and Instagram and following Jurassic accounts, I mean, I'm not saying – I'm not justifying accounts – I'm not saying that you should go out there, people should go out there and share whatever leaks they want or leak things themselves or whatever, no. But when things are revealed, th th that's part of the lead-up. We're a fan website, we are going to share things. We've obviously, have. this is the first time we shared anything from the dinosaurs on Jurassic World 2, even though we've had images for, <laughs> since February... March? What? Something. Yeah, too too long, and we just decided to stay silent. Well, and of the, the context was way different, though, which is understandable. The context of, of these course, images... We, we didn't want to... Yeah. Th it's... These aren't set spy photos. These aren't, you know, these aren't accidental dinosaurs left open in a warehouse. Uh, it's nothing like that. It's, it's a very... I think there's a very big difference here. And when you have the media coming in to report and the production inviting them in and having the media set their camera right up on the Triceratops, like, we know the uh, production also isn't shy, but they were like, yeah, we were invited in to talk about Jurassic World 2, blah, blah, blah. And it makes sense because it drums up hype on the Hawaiian Islands while also basically making the people who live there not upset about the movie filming at their pier but be excited about it. Rather, they, they don't feel set back about it. They feel like, oh, this is something very cool. Anyhow, they had some, some practical dinosaurs there. Yeah. And it's funny because the leaks that have happened for the past few months, most of them have been the same damn leak, which is the trike oh. or... The Stegosaurus. No, the Triceratops is new to, to um, the Triceratops is new to Hawaii. We right. saw the Stegosaurus plenty. But the Stegosaurus in, in the UK, and the it's like we should have a montage of where in the world is the Jurassic World Stegosaurus because I mean, it's <laughs> the, the leaks that keep happening that that people are getting upset about. Well, that a is, lot of them are always the Stegosaurus. The image hasn't been shared publicly, and I'm not sure if it will, but there was that other picture right when they got the Stegosaurus to Hawaii where all of its plates were broken off, like its head was broken off. It was just, its half of its foot was broken off. I mean, it is just in rough shape, and it's clear it's made out of foam and, like, plaster. Clearly. It's, yeah. like, 100% not, they're not animatronics. They're um, stand-ins, which I was wrong yeah. about um, before. I absolutely, to me, it made no sense that they would do life-size stand-ins, but... As the clearer images came out, it became very obvious what they were. Um, uh, it definitely makes a lot of sense. They're using them for uh, actor references, for lighting references, eyeline references, but I think as well, more importantly, lighting for visual effects. Yeah. If they are doing whole body dinosaurs uh, in a in the back of a meta what's it, uh, like a Lost World dinosaur cage truck, um, they probably at night time. They need a real light. They can reference. see where the shadows are going to be cast and everything. That way, they don't have to make right. it up all along. And they, I'm just surprised they don't have tracking dots on them. To be honest with you, that's like I guess the one part that throws me is it would have made sense to at least put like motion tracking dots on the uh, 
maquettes or not maquettes, the stand-ins. That way that they can just do an easier job tracking the dinosaur inside of the cage while back at IOM. Sure. But since it's probably not going to be an exact recreation, like recreation, these are probably rough ups. Like the dinosaur designs might change in the final film. So I, I, I guess maybe that's why they didn't use tracking dots. But I feel like the tracking dots would have just made it easier to scrub the dinosaur from the cage or the wherever it is. Yeah, my guess is just with the the detail, the I mean, the stand-in styrofoam, even with some of the leaked pictures that we've seen that aren't the Stegosaurus, um, just the 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 lack of detail just tells me that these are either going to be distant shots, quick snippets where we're only going to briefly see these. So I again, I, I think for that maybe reason, that's maybe why you're not seeing tracking dots because it's not in a sufficient enough scene to where they're going to be doing anything other than where you're going to see a tail or a back I... or a head. Yeah, um, I just guess it's going to be hard. By. It just seems like it's going to be tough for IOM to, like, I guess I, yeah, I guess maybe the tracking dot wouldn't make it any easier or, like, any harder. So it just doesn't make sense to put it there if it's going by on a moving truck. And that's just the thing also. If the truck's going, like, 30 miles per hour and the camera's stationary, you're not going to be able to tell if it's a cheap mock-up or, like, they might not right. even have to replace it with CG in all the scenes. Right. Um it's just when you get like the more close up shots. But you know what? You and I were talking about it. The one shot that might be a stegosaurus animatronic head. That's what I'm thinking, man. Um, because it's, it's a different head than the one that we have the closer pictures of where it's clearly just a foam head. And it looks like it's plugged into like a black box of machinery. It's not directly attached to the body I anymore. I wish that blanket wasn't draped over the, the front torso. Because I even think that the, the feet... I could be wrong, but I think even the feet have slightly changed because the feet look so awkward, just fl- completely flat, like a st- like any animal laying uh, from a tranquilized state wouldn't be laying completely mm-hmm. like you know like like two flat feet magnetized to the floor. Yeah, and, and given that's probably just for an easy three D print, like they's probably like posed in a neutral like a uh, solid neutral position and then just. Like printed it out. Yeah, I wouldn't say that that's the pose that the VFX will be in. Yeah, like if they, might yeah, have, if like, they do, if they do an overlay, then that, then that makes sense. But I'm not. Sh- yeah, I'm not. But I'm not that sure if that's what one, they're gonna do, so. th- that head does look more detailed than the other head. I mean, it's certainly more detailed. There's paint. The way the light was going on, and like I said, it does look like it's plugged into machinery. Yeah. Um, and it's the image where it's straight on from straight on the um. Stegosaurus, what's it on? Like a back of a truck, and then there's a tarp draped over the Stegosaurus's back and plates, and but you can see like just underneath the tarp, like you see like a little black thing that the head's plugged into, and the head's no longer attached to the body. And we've previously seen pictures of the full Stegosaurus with the head attached to the body. The head was super low detail, um, looked really goofy, looked a little bit more like Spike. Yeah, it looked a lot more like Spike, um, grown up. So. No, this it, one looks good. Although, does it have a beak? Because I'm not really sure if it has a beak. Well, it looks it looks a little more angular, like a little more articulate in the in the head shape. Because, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be blown away if the, if just it's the same damn Stegosaurus we've and just looks different from different angles. But from that view, it looks like it has a sharper like it a sharper snout. It doesn't look as lippy as the one that we saw, but it doesn't look yeah, as exactly. a defined beak as a real Stegosaurus. Yeah. Any other piece of Stegosaurus art that exists, including the Lost World Stegosaurus, because they forgot the beak in Jurassic World. If you look at the CG renders, even though it's only in the background, if you zoom in, you will see there is no beak on the final model inside the movie, even though the super early crappy render does have a beak. The one in the movie is a fleshy mouthpiece. It's so weird. Mm, that's it's weird. It's so freaking weird. Um, like a rhino. Ugh. Uh, but... Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't make... I mean, these animals had beaks, and it looked really cool. It's not like an awkward, clumsy beak. Like, it looks cool. But yeah, what's weird is, when we were looking at these images, it's sort of like it looks like the Jurassic World Stegosaurus from the front, with, like, the fleshy mouth. But from the side, it's, like, straight up the Lost World Stegosaurus head. With just, like, a fleshy... It's like they yeah. forgot to attach the beak. Um, and then it goes into, like, a body that's... Well, I guess it's Jurassic World, because it's got the drooping tail. But, um... I don't know, the paint job they put on the plates, even if it is just a stand-in, it is pretty beautiful. Like, it looked nice when you saw the plates sticking out of the back of the cage. Like, that looked really nice. Just... You know, it's funny, the comparison you put up between the Lost World Stego and the Jurassic World Stegosaurus, very, 
very telling of of how much effort went in to the Lost World to... and not into Dr- yeah. yeah went into honestly Jurassic I mean, I mean, Park the Lost World animal accuracy but but also maintaining dinosaurs of the franchise I mean why would the Jurassic World dinosaur have devolved also just the art you know style I mean? is it's inconsistent. obviously a different breed it, it yeah, looks like it's just completely it, it looks like a realization strange. of like a Ray Ray Harry Ray oh my god why can't I say his name you know Ray Harry Halson Ray H yeah um, I'm having some trouble saying his name, but it looks like a realization of like a dinosaur from one of those movies where it's made out of like clay and like, like it's like super like fleshy with a, t- a T Rex that's still leaning on its yeah, tail like, it's like, like a Godzilla. It's, I'm not even just talking about the tail though, like the entire texture on the body and like the color, like the way it's like really like molted and like it looks like it's made out of clay. Like it's got that weird like old like retro King Kong. Like this, it doesn't have any consistency with, like, the dinosaurs of the rest of the franchise. It's really weird looking. I'm not trying to, like, dump all over it or anything like that. I, I'm just commenting on it because I do hope that they change that going into Jurassic World 2. Just the design was super generic, and it's not consistent with the Jurassic Park franchise at all. It's not really synonymous well, with the... It's sort of... It's it's sort of like what they did in JP3 with the Brachiosaur. Everyone's kind of like, why did you change something that looked great? In the that first one movie? was a change for accuracy, but I don't like it. It makes well, it's a it's a gross it change makes regardless. It look- but the Stegosaurus has always been. Uh, I mean, it's one of my favorites. And in Lost World, that I don't think anyone has ever complained that's about such that a, scene, right? Such an iconic or the design. way they look. Or I mean, something. sure, it's yeah. freaking huge, but I don't care. You can change the size of the dinosaurs, but it actually was a fair representation. Of the dinosaur, it's a fair representation of what dinosaurs were. Take creative liberties with these designs, but there's also an art style, and the art style is these were animals, and just mm-hmm. the Jurassic World. I just don't believe that as a living creature at all. It has, it doesn't. That's not what reptiles look like. Sure as hell wasn't what dinosaurs look like. I don't know what was going on with that thing's skin, with its face, with its tail. Everything about it is just off. I like the colors the... they chose, but I don't like the texture that they applied to bring it to life. Yeah, a lot of the Jurassic World dinosaurs had that kind of bubbly texture, skin. Bubbly is a good way um, to describe yeah. it. It looks like, like a, almost like a, like a melted crayon. Y- yeah. <laughs> yeah, like just like a like a booger, like a, like a giant scab. Like just a weird... <laughs> <laughs> Why does that ring a crayon? Oh, that's right, Chris. You described yourself as a crayon. A melted crayon. In Philly. Ah. Uh, do you remember that? I do recall. <laughs> it's mainly be- it's mainly because of what I look like in photographs. Because you have I a just, melty face. When the flash goes off, it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. It's, I, I take the worst pictures. I re- I really do. I, I, you don't, no, you dude. Don't. You think you do. You're very. You were like, let's take another one. Let's take another one. I'm like, dude, we look great. Yeah, you're you all. Every, <laughs> y'all look every great. T- every time you take a photo, Chris, it's just almost like you're like, well, here I am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> this is Chris. I don't know how to smile. I don't like. If you catch me smiling naturally, it might look all right on a photo. But like, it's, you're like, smile, like, Chris. I'm like, yeah. it's almost like you're like, does this look good? Hmm? <laughs> Hmm? Oh, man. What do you think? What you? Hmm? It's like a, a thingy in Friends. What's his name? Uh, Monica's uh, Chandler. He can't. He can't take. He can't take a photo. Yeah, he can't take the smile. It's the same thing. He can't smile. Just, it's uh, true uh, though. Like I take awkward photos. I'm not. Maybe they're not awful, but they sure as hell aren't like. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you asked me to cut you out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Is there any way you can crop me out? Well, I mean, he, he references you, so it would be a bit you weird. You could have had a like, cutaway to me just for a video. second where I'm like, hey. Can I just – can we just talk about that for one second? Because I thought when you, when you Chris, were like, was this awkward? Was this weird? Was the conversation weird? I was like, no, man, no. But then at the very, very end, when you – when Colin, like, signed off and you said thank you, and then he looks at you, but then it's like he awkwardly looks at you and then looks back at the camera like he wasn't finished <laughs> – I was like, "Oh, that was kind of weird." Oh, that was that was kind of weird. And then when it was cut, I laughed to myself because I thought it was weird, and I'm like, "Okay, somebody else thought it was weird." And yeah, so, <laughs> um, but, it was funny. There was more to that that I actually had. Well, Matt had cut because Matt Brando filmed that for me. Um, but it was really Colin's like, "Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this." And then like, right when we're walking up, like to do it because we're going into the theater because the hallway's loud, and um, Colin goes. Oh, by the way, how do you pronounce your last name? Is it Pew? And I'm like, yeah. 
I, I don't know. It doesn't occur to me why he's asking this. <clears throat> and he goes, stands up next to the poster, and he said, Great, okay, I'm really happy to do this, but the only way I'm going to do this is if you agree to be in the camera with me. And I'm like, fuck! <laughs> he's like, just stand here and follow my lead. And then, like, that was it. And <laughs> I was like, oh, god damn it. Okay. And it was that, like, I was supposed to be filming him. And I'm like, great, okay, Collins is going to say a little thing. This is cool. And he's like, all right, if we're going to do this, though, you have to be in the ca-. I'm like, oh, God. Ah. And I had That's I had no cool, idea what like was going to the... be said or what was going to happen. He's like, just follow my lead. I like how you, <laughs> he was like, you know, I, I mean, Chris liked it. And you were like, yeah, it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> I was making a joke, though. <laughs> that but cracked me you up, also man. Had... I was like, straight to his face. You were like, yeah, it was crap. Yeah. But you <laughs> no. also had that face. Chris, like your photo face, like, eh, well, eh, eh, eh. I mean, yeah. uh, if that's what you got, Colin, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it was a joke, though. I thought it was, yeah, it was, right. I thought it was afterwards. Pretty... I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have made that joke because what if it doesn't read well as a joke? And that's the whole. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I, I asked you to cut me out of the video, and I asked you to cut that part out. <laughs> It's funny how worked up you get. It's about a funny it, bit. He got it. He laughed. Yeah. He was like, "Oh, I wasn't expecting a joke." But uh, yeah, you basically just insulted his movie and <laughs> slapped you straight, straight to his face. He tells you to shut up. He's like, "Hey, you shut up. I'm talking." Oh. Okay. He's like, "Well, that's Slaps the last the time I ever do head. anything for Jurassic Outpost." <laughs> or he just stares at you. Just off. straight up, like, "Yeah, it's it, it's all right, Colin. It's you know, it's all right." But you saw Book of Henry, so how is it, Chris? You know what? I don't change my opinion. Like, the movie's weird as hell, but I liked it. Um, and honestly, he does get his best performances out of actors in any of his movies in the Book of Henry. I really thought, like, he directed the hell out of the Book of Henry. But there were some weird choices in that movie, but it somehow worked for me. And I'm not sure if it just worked for me because of the humanity of the characters, but it did work for me. Oh, the humanity. But... If you recall, even before the reviews hit, I was talking about how I wish the central plot point was different. And, and I don't want to, like, and I don't want to give away that central plot point, just because it's so dark and so heavy that it kind of like just it leaves you feeling weird about the other parts of the movie. In my opinion, it somehow pulled it off, but just barely. Um, but overall, I liked it. I don't know. I need to see it again. Yeah, I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm going to go see it in the theater or wait for it because I feel like it's going to be pretty intense. And it it has some intense scenes, and then it has a lot of fun scenes, and then it just has some weird scenes, and I don't know. I th- okay, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I'm this is the I'm, we've all been waiting for this movie for a very long time. I'm going to go see it in the cinema if it comes to the cinema, which it probably won't. It's got a it's got a weird limited release, really, doesn't it? It's not. It's yeah, not I mean, going everywhere. Yeah, it's not we have main it. chains. I mean, it's a ten million dollar movie by Focus Features, yeah, so yeah. I mean that, that's not too right. surprising. But anyhow, I thought that um honestly, I thought that I saw also clear strides in a lot of his directing in the movie, and I thought that there was some really good editing in the film. Um, structurally, the movie does some very interesting things, like with the plot. But I mean, I don't know. I, I think. I'm definitely one of the few people that liked it. Most people absolutely hated it. But, I mean, I'm not saying it was perfect, but I actually liked it, and I thought that there were some really good... I mean, and I love Safety Not Guaranteed, but I thought there were some really... I thought, like, Colin pulled off some great stuff with this movie in comparison to uh, Safety Not Jurassic World. Like, obviously, I like Jurassic World more just because of the material, but I thought there were a lot of clear, like, improvements in terms of um, just his direction with the movie. Yeah. Well, that's cool. great. I mean... <laughs> not everyone, not every director makes every single film perfect. I mean, even Spielberg has some has some crappy movies. You guys, so uh, you know, regardless of what the reviews are, I'm excited for it. New photos. I'm looking forward to it. New photos of Chris Pratt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> really? Uh, real tours. Oh, oh is like it just him more? with fans? Being yeah, like, more Yo! more fan stuff, more filming in. Uh, uh, but. I'm trying to see what they're filming because there somebody did take a snapshot of a camera rig on the truck. Oh yeah, I bl- see the blue tarp. Mm. Um, oh look, Chris Pratt's got like black ash all over his face. Weird, huh? It's almost like the stuff blowing around in the back of that uh, new Jurassic World poster. Yeah, it's weird. Huh. Why would why would there be ash on his face? I don't know. Who it knows? could be dirt. I don't know. It, 
it looks darker than dirt. Eh. It could be dirt. I might just be looks, reading into that. I might I'm, be seeing what I want to see at this point. I'm gonna go with the uh, with the ash because it looks a little red. Looks a little burnt. Looks a little. Uh, I don't know. Ooh. But Ooh. filming is <laughs> filming is taking place right now in Hawaii. Um, Obviously, it's gonna be at the docks for what a week. They they paid out. I mean, they paid a good chunk of money to those people. By the way, to the boats, to the what was it, sixty boats that they paid a thousand dollars to? To yeah, yeah, exactly. Park it somewhere else. Yeah, that and that's the individual people. That's not just the probably the pier or harbor or whatever it is itself. So. Yeah, it's not the licenses for actual filming. Yeah, that's. Yeah. It, but then again, there's pennies to a studio like Universal. Oh sure, who seem to be throwing so much at this movie and I really hope it does pay off yeah. I'm very excited to see what Bayonne is doing and I have to admit everything we've seen from filming so far vehicles uh, the sort of stand-in dinosaurs it's all it's all getting to me it's all making me very excited because it, it has a way more it, it looks way more in line with the franchise yeah. than Jurassic World oh, yeah. ever did it, it's I think it must be the griminess the dirtiness of it the more um rougher textures the the kind of army mercenary vehicles and stuff it just seems way more in line with the franchise and way more where i want it to go and i, I think fucking hope half the movie is set at night yeah. no i hope the whole rain. god that movie is set at Give night i rain. need rain yeah I need gold bloom i need gold bloom in, i need i mean and he's I need in a it. shot of gold bloom standing there in the rain at night, but I worry he's not going to be on the island. I, yeah, I don't know. Well, at least we know there's rain I don't think because he, of that I think the closest. Scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah there, there, there's rain, and I hope it's a lot of rain. Yeah, and I hope oh, it's through, and throughout the movie, I hope it, Nublar is Cloud Island for God's sake, and in Jurassic World it was so sunny. God damn, it's got to be. It's got to be rain. Yeah, well, that's the in thing. Jurassic it's Park's movie. defense, it was pretty sunny, and then it changed to that. And when I always, Jurassic I always Park... assorted, assorted Sorna with the foggy. Uh, you know, the foggy Fair. But when Jurassic Park was sunny, it had a certain sense of, like, humidity and, like, wet mm. warmth mm-hmm. to it. Even when, like, they were out in the grasslands and everything like that, there seemed to be, like, a humidity in the air. And it was probably because of, like, the natural warmer tones that they had going on. It just, it projected the heat a little bit more, where Jurassic World, it yeah. cooled down the image. So the sunniness mixed with the cooled down image just sort of looked off. Well, and the, so... We didn't talk about this, but the tweet that Bayona <clears throat> threw out yesterday before the announcement of the... Oh, yeah. The, the, Ooh, we haven't even the, talked about that. Oh, my the God. The vehicle. <laughs> I, the, not, aside from it... Okay, so we, we can start speculating what we think that's going to be because... Well, there's no question. It's, that's, it's, that's the it's, Ford Explorer. It's the, it's the, yeah, it's the 04 Jeep. But, so, um, yeah, it's, the, it's a shot of the Ford, Ford Explorer close up on the T-Rex in a circle with you can see some of the... Covered in mud. Text there. Yeah. And and it's, clearly, it's clearly covered in mud. And yesterday, Ryan, you flipped the image upside down, which kind of makes it fit more with the way the mud you is can tell, yeah, yeah, You can tell, yeah, you can tell that... It's an upside down view. You can Did tell you that he took some photos. I didn't see that. No, he tweeted it on uh, twitter.com. Oh. If you go to that website, you'll have to register and then follow Ryan. It's at I don't, I don't, I don't believe in Ryan social media. Shoe. So, uh... no, it's uh, he he clearly took the fo- it's upside down and he turned the photo right side up because you can tell that the drip marks are going down. That'll fool them fans. You can even see the leaves. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, the way that the leaves are are articulated and the way that they're pointing, they wouldn't be pointing like that if it was right side up. So, um. So we're, we've got an upside down 04 Jurassic we don't Park know if classic it's 04. Ford Explorer. Why do you think it's 04? It says 04 on there. No, it doesn't. It's just the. It's just, it's just the logo. No, yeah, it a, doesn't say 04. But um, it, but I'm thinking it is 04. This is. Oh, no, I'm thinking this is this is thingy's Jeep, uh, the Jeep that Tim and Lex. Uh, oh my God, Lex and Grant <sighs> or Tim and Grant. <laughs> Tim and Grant. <laughs> Um, I think this is this Jeep. I think we're going to go back to T Rex, uh, T Rex, the sort of main road and the T Rex. I, I mean, I, I certainly hope we do. Um, it's not going to be the exact place they filmed because there's no word of them hidden, heading to Kauai. Which is crazy. Yet. But um, yeah, which is crazy. I have a few contacts there, and it's just dead. It is dead on Kauai. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Um, it's um, I mean, they can obviously make that or do that anywhere in Hawaii. They could, I mean, they could do it in Louisiana, any jungle. Yeah. But oh, it's more. It's, I'm more talking about if you want to. If they're going to go back to the main road, then oh, they right, need right. the wide establishing shot of yeah, the main road, absolutely. right, with the fence down absolutely. and the mountains in the background. And it's like, well, they're not going to get that unless they film in Kauai. So if they can, uh, anyway. No, what, I, I guess what I was thinking with the O4 is a lot of people were speculating about the Mark Englert poster, as we were talking about earlier, about how cool this would be to see. And Chris, you mentioned 
This was yeah. your idea. Or, uh, blue, like an actual animatronic of, of, blue, of like that poster, a live a realization poster. of it. Like rather than yeah. maybe rather than the park being built in the background, maybe you have like like the hillside on fire or something like that, or like a storm raging, like mm-hmm. something like that that still invokes that sense of like scale and depth and, like, the bigger story happening in the background where you have this really cool imagery in front of you. And honestly, like, it just, it has to happen. Everyone latched onto that poster so much. The artwork was so fantastic that I genuinely would not be surprised to see that imagery. Stop saying fantastic. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) I'm your daughter all the time, you know. You can't just abandon me me whenever opportunity knocks. Will that hurt your mother tell you to say that? You want good parental advice? Don't listen to me. I don't, I don't want to hang out with Sarah. She's such a or, no, Tro- not Sarah. Uh, she's a chocolate diet. Oh, cruel but good word cruel, use. Good word use. <laughs> um, um I've, we so. Oh god, that hurt. Oh, <laughs> that's not a line. <laughs> Doctor Malcolm downstairs. Downstairs, please. <laughs> um, Doctor Malcolm. <laughs> Doctor Malcolm, what have you done with it? What have you, give me that infant. <laughs> Now you're John Hammond. Oh, I like Chris. Best thing you've ever said ever. <laughs> I John wish Hammond. everyone else was there for that moment. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the yeah, moment I nearly killed you. Some pure gold. I, w- I took a. I don't know. I don't know if we ever told you, Ryan. I took a. What was it, Chris? I. I was eating. What I don't I know, eat? but it was your. It was like my buffalo I think, chicken. That's and right, and it was one. covered in cheese. It all came up in one thing. It was thing, huge. So I just, <laughs> it was like way too big for one mouth. And he That's just what, puts yeah. it all in. Yep, yep, sure did. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> well, that sounds that sounds great. Yeah, no, I I took all that buffalo chicken. You took it. I took it took all it like a champ. Um, and now you're. But Chris, him. I was like chewing it, and then I realized, like, oh no, this is too, this is this is far too much. Just, and then Chris awkward silence. lent in. <laughs> he lent in really close to me, and just went. Now you're John Hammond. <laughs> I died, man. Quoting the Lost World when I'm trying. Yeah, you you literally hey, so, nearly choked. Yeah, it was good. That's it was funny. a good time. Oh. Um, so um, I watched Jurassic Park and the Lost World in 35 mil last weekend. Mm, yes. You must be jealous. I am. Well, yes, I am actually. Tell us about it because you were apparently pretty blown away with the Brachiosaurus scene. Ah, so yeah, I forgot I told you guys that. I met a couple of couple of fans as well. I met the gaming beaver, I met Raptor Chaser, which was nice. Um but yeah, so they played thirty five mil print of Jurassic Park and it is dirty. It's a dirty print. It's nice. I like that. In a good way. I mean that in a positive way. It's specky, it's got dust on it, it's got hairs, it's got it pops in and out. There are literally se- like clips of scenes missing like uh, <laughs> I just don't have arrows. nostalgia for that era what of shitty film yeah it's like in like tiny tiny bits that only like people who know the scene in and out would realize but like the end of a line was cut off because it you know jumped or those frames were missing from it or for whatever reason it's just fascinating to see and there was um I mean the whole thing was there was you saw the the true film grain and it was quite a dirty print like I said and there was some bits where the music went in and out sort of thing very very subtly but you you know, it was oh, oh, it missed the last beat of that. It was weird, but the brachiosaur scene, which in my opinion is the the sort of mo- the, not the ugliest scene in Jurassic Park, but like it hasn't held up well, um, especially with the Blu-ray and stuff. It just it just to me it just looks weird. You know, the the brachiosaur in the trees of the sunrise or sunset sunrise, the kind of pink sky in the background. But on this print, I've never seen it so clean. It's like they had restored that scene only. It was so. It was so tidy. It was so like hmm. there wasn't wasn't the, I couldn't even tell that there was grain I on it. It was just felt blush. like that scene looked really good in the three D print of Jurassic Park in twenty thirteen. I felt like that scene looked really good on that, but it looks kind of eh on the Blu Ray. It it just looks weird on the on modern watching it now like on Blu Ray. But it's yeah, still my it, to, to me the scene is the, is is a weird. I love the scene. It's like beautiful. Said, it's one of my favorites, but. It, it doesn't look right. There's something about the compositing in it that just it never sat right with me. But well, it's very retro. I, I was amazed in this it, watching Jurassic Park on this film print. It looked gorgeous. It was it was it stood out. That's cool. I genuinely was buzzing about that. I would have really like, liked to that's see that. Weird. I've never seen the scene that. And then we played. We had a little break and we played The Lost World. Oh, what a clean print! Yeah, 
I yeah. mean, that's a, it's a 35 mil print of Lost World. They have looked after that print. That it was that pristine. That's guys. the one I would have liked to see because I, you know, I've seen Jurassic Park in theaters quite a bit because of 2013 and more recently, um, and I would still be hyped to see it again. But uh, I haven't seen a Lost World in theaters since when the Lost World was in theaters. Yeah, same, same. So, well, I've never seen it in theaters. Th- oh, that's right. I was slightly too young yeah, to right. go to the cinema, so I, I would have been four or five when it came that's out. So, so, cool. so, so you it saw amazing. it in the theater for the back. first time. Yeah, I saw them both. Your favorite I've seen movie. Jurassic Park. I've seen Jurassic Park three times in cinemas, but digital each time. Yeah. With the restorations, this is the first time I've seen it in on film. And for a people, who, for people who make films and like films, that is a thing. It's I like seeing it on. I film. I get it. I do like and seeing uh, it on film, but when it's a clean, like a clean, fresh print, I just don't have nostalgia <laughs> for the, like. Even as a kid, I would always be like, ah, when are we gonna get like DVD quality and like. Like, yeah, where you I get, get you, like, man. that good, clean, you. consistent image. Like, it always bugged me. I think more so because it's an older movie. It's from, like, 93. Like, I kind of associate that with, at the time, nobody saw it clean as fuck. Yeah. They saw it the way I just saw it. And I just, I don't know, there's something about that. It's just something about film prints. But, yeah, Lost World, I couldn't get over how goddamn crisp it was. It was so clean. It was so clean. And it looked great. That's awesome. Yeah, dude. Lost World, man. You guys seen that one? Nah, we, I've never heard of it. I've heard of it. You're talking about the 58, uh, 58 version? Yeah, the uh, black and white. Or, the, uh, the, or are you referring to the Land of the Lost? That's the one? Land of the Lost with Will Ferrell, yeah. Okay, that, that one, oh, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. It's one of my, Great one movie. Of my favorites. Absolutely, yeah, really good. We... So, it says Injun on the side of that chapter. I don't, I don't get, it. get it. Why would Hammond send two teams? Two teams. Two teams. <laughs> So uh, I think people liked the last episode where we suddenly went into JP3. There was quite a few comments about the JP3 quotes. That was pretty amazing, actually. I, I didn't amazing. believe that I could yeah. quote JP3 so much. Exactly. Uh, I didn't know I had it in me. Or Give you. it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> you know, I'm um, stop this the plane. <laughs> this plane. Before we go full Dude, we JP3 should... <laughs> and wrap this up, I feel like there's a few things that we still need to cover real quick. Yep. So, okay, no, we will. We'll cover some things, but we should turn Jurassic Park 3 into an opera. <laughs> Every single line should be performed. No! Not yet! <laughs> what type of operas have you seen? Get out the way! I, I, do you know what? I can't sing opera. Get out the way! Get out the no, way! No, get out I can't the way. sing opera. Get out the way! Get out the way! Obviously. You know I can't stop this plane! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God! Sounds bigger. There's like a rap breakdown. Eric, this you, Dasky? How do you know the Kirby's? <laughs> it's not opera anymore. It's just weird singing. It's uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, through our church. You desky. <laughs> you desky. <laughs> you desky. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see Jurassic Park 3 on stage. Do you know we what, actually? That. that would be... <laughs> <laughs> because it's like... It's such a random movie to choose for stage as well. You know, you could have just gone for Jurassic Park. Yeah. You could have gone for, for Jurassic World. No, no, no. Jurassic Park 3 on stage. <laughs> That'd be great. Like, I think like, Jurassic like Park the, the 3... Jurassic Park 3, the musical on stage, definitely should be a thing. <laughs> so you're saying that if you didn't have the chance to go back on that island, you would... I don't know what it's <laughs> <laughs> So you're saying so what there you're are two saying. islands with dinosaurs on them. <laughs> they said a trap. All right, you stay <laughs> out of this. <laughs> they said a trap. Shit, what? They said a trap. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All these combies start dancing out like dun, 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 dun. They said the trap. It's calling. It's calling. It's calling for help. <laughs> we gotta if we if this happens, we gotta get sick triceratops on to help out with the uh Oh man. With that with the music. To he, do the four twenty videos, yeah. <laughs> Guys, <clears throat> let's talk about Dinosaurs. No uh, um, what is it? Uh, mm, Fallen Kingdom. Fallen Kingdom. Fallon. Fallon Kingdom coming soon. No, the, the, so yeah, the no, it's exciting. Me. It's exciting. Yeah, no. So I didn't 
So, so when we were talking about what might get announced today, I wasn't necessarily thinking logo, poster. In fact, I think I said, I we'll get the title, we'll get a cast list, we'll get some set pictures, but I, I definitely didn't think we'd get a logo. We didn't get any of that. We got the title... And we got the poster. Yeah, the we got the like we got the first cool. one sheet with the first logo, the title, and the uh, tagline. And on, like we've talked, we talked about this earlier. But yeah, life finds a way. I just I so dig it. It's a gorgeous Me tagline. Too. Whoever decided, whoever sort of threw that one out there, I bet the whole room went, "Oh yeah, yeah. that would work." I, you know what I really wonder though? I, if this is the title, like a year ago when Colin Trevorrow said, "Yeah, we have a title. It's top secret. It's not called Jurassic World Two, whatever, but we do have a title for this movie." Um, I do wonder if it was Fallen Kingdom back then, or if it has changed since then, like if it went through changes. Mm. Uh, do you, yeah, do you it's, think it's, it's been know, Fallen Kingdom all this time? I mean, like, what do, what do you think? I bet there's been a few options that they've been toying with, and they have had this time to kind of solidify it. I would say maybe in the past few months... When I hear that, like, nobody knows that, like, or, like only a select few, like, the director and the producers know the title, that tells me that nobody is solidified on a title. Um, to be I fair, like, nobody knew The Last Jedi's title, and I think that they had that picked out for a good long while. But they, they, they kept probably it did, secret, I mean, so it didn't leak. Yeah, that one I can see them having planned out for much longer, but this one I would guess is probably chosen maybe a little more recently, but they, it's hard, tough to say. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm really curious if this is the title that they've had for, like, a long time, if this is the title they had in their mind... Or if, like, early titles just, you know, as, as time went on, they're like, you know what? No, let's try something different. Um, and th- that brings up the other thing, you know, let's call back to the epic, the epoch, the apoch, like, whatever, however you pronounce it. Um, it's kind of like epoch. 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 Uh, epoch. It's like, you say epic epoch. and then epoch. But, uh, you know, <laughs> what do you, I mean, Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, can we so, talk a pin, like, I mean, huh? nah, not today. Well, we heard that name again more recently. Do you think we should talk about that? Epic? Yeah. <laughs> we did? We heard it more recently? I forgot about this. Uh, did I, do I know about this? With toys? Uh, you were the one who told us. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I was like, where did we hear that from? Um, um, we're currently on a Jurassic it's Park. It's floating around. Podcast. We just don't know what the hell it means. Um We've I mean, and we've said for a while that like we're per, I mean it could be the title we don't know what the title is but when this gets when this gets thrown out there and as I saw it on the website when it was thrown up in November and just with it keep it keeps popping up in random places from sources where we've we're trying to get some of the deepest information. So can um, we talk a bit about like the context of our most recent occurrence of hearing that name? So with with the whole toy thing and the toy fair. Uh, Supposedly, there was there was talk of epic or epoch, whatever, um, by some of the paid actors who are presenting to, uh, the the dinosaurs and showcasing the uh, for the executives and the, and the and the representatives who were there looking at the toys. So, so yeah, behind paid, closed so, doors, they had the showcases. By the way, there were more than just paid actors there. Yeah, there's executives as well, but I mean, the people who are basically showcasing and talking and and hyping up the toys and talking about their their actions and what they do and how I mean they even gave they even talked about some some scenes in the movie which um you know they don't know they don't know the whole plot and they don't know every scene but they know key scenes that tie into these toys um and apparently that word was thrown out there basically um, they were referring to the toys right where they're saying like this is from the legacy collection this is from Jurassic World 2 and this is from Epic I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the context was used. I just heard that it was used. That it was a word that was like, "Yep, that was said." So, um, that's that's been the the biggest thing with this entire thing is trying to figure out exactly what it has to. I mean, what it ties into. But with it now being talked about with Mattel or or, or for whatever reason, it could be. Well, it, it could, could be, be the animated series, which we it, have not put the article up yet. But uh, thanks to our friends at Jurassic Quotes, we have a... I'd say it's more than a rumor, but considering it's not from an official source, I would treat it as a rumor. And we'll talk... Uh, well, it was also talked about officially uh, not not so long back, Yeah, you right? saw... Did you see that I sourced it? Um, that was it? that universal... Did you see that I sourced pictures. it in the article that I'm working on? Yeah, but... They basically gave yeah, it exactly. away. <laughs> like, um, But yeah, we've heard... 
um, thanks to our friends at Jurassic Quotes, and this isn't the first time we heard about an animated series, but this is the first time we've heard something substantial that says the animated series is no longer on hold. Um, but we heard that there's an animated series in development for Netflix. And uh, we'll get it, we'll get more into that on our next episode because we haven't even put out the article. Um, but yeah, we'll get more into that. But again, thanks to our friends at Jurassic Quotes for uh, helping us and for just relaying that information in a very cool way. It's, it's going to be it's it's a good old fashioned rumor. But I also you know I got to meet uh, Jurassic Quotes, who runs you know who runs it at, at the after party at Jurassic World. Um, so it's actually nice knowing that you could actually have physical and like know this person like oh this is a real person not just someone on the internet making up something. Um, but it's also not the first time we heard about it. So yeah, that's 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 a pretty uh, that's pretty dope. Um, the possibility yeah. of having an animated series. I mean, all signs point Net- to yes, it's happening on Netflix no less too. I mean, it's it's if yeah. So you know, there's some serious quality control going into it because Netflix. Uh, very particular about yep. what they uh, my assumption they is and what they allow to get my made. assumption is it's DreamWorks Animation um, and Netflix and DreamWorks Animation have multiple ongoing partnerships already with Universal Picture Properties so it all makes sense yep. so yeah that's Spielberg that's owned as well so yeah well Universal just... owns DreamWorks Animation now oh they do yeah but wasn't, wasn't and when DreamWorks... they when they acquired them they said yeah we'd like to bring Universal Properties to animated series including Jurassic World oh Gotcha. Like they straight up said that. <laughs> they didn't necessarily make it as an announcement, but they straight up said, "Yes, this is what we want to do." Well, now we know the want came into doing. Um, like it's probably happening. Okay. So, uh, is there anything else we want to wrap up? Otherwise, I just want to say I'm glad that the Triceratops m- mock-up stand-in, whatever it is, I'm glad that it's using the Jurassic Park 1 colors before it was muddied, so it's sort of grayish, bluish colors. I just really dig that. Hope that the movie one looks like that. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. So, um, today, there is 365 days, including one today, year. until Jurassic World 2 hits America. Uh, I will see it, along with all the people that live in the UK, Two weeks. Let's just hope Han so Solo is delayed, <laughs> and then they move up the United States release date <laughs> yeah, to coincide yeah, yeah. with the UK. No, yeah, it's it's very weird that, but I think maybe it was something to do with the fact they knew they were going to be filming there. Maybe it's because I know that um, it cannot be called it's something like cannot be classed as a British movie unless like eighty percent of it's filmed in Britain or oh, something stupid. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's regardless. Maybe that's got something to do with the early release date. Maybe I think it's marketing. But, uh, I think it's honestly just marketing. To be honest with you, it's probably they looked at like the competition and the release dates for other movies in the UK, and that they're like, we will make the most money if we put it out here in the UK. Yeah, we'll make the most money if we put probably. it out here in the US. Sure. It's just usually the other way around, which is so funny. But yeah, so uh, check that out. Go to DrassicOutpost.com to catch up on all of this news. But also, we currently are running a poll. What is your favorite Jurassic Park video game? Took me a while to write down all those goddamn video games. There are a lot of them, and a lot <laughs> so of them For the love of God, crap, vote. But vote for them. Some and of if them you're smart, vote for the votes, Sega Genesis Jurassic Park game. Which is sad. Yeah, Sega Genesis, all the way. The DNA factor has zero votes. Yeah, go, I'm surprised the, the Cease, Sega I'm Genesis surprised the Cease has didn't zero votes. Vote. DNA factor. And Jurassic Park 3 on Arcade has zero votes. Jurassic Outpost. Jurassic, more like Jurassic Outhouse. Yeah. What a bunch Jurassic, of pricks. JurassicOuthouse.com Oh, that, uh, well, did we talk about this before we started recording? Uh, check out JurassicWorld.com as it has also updated with the No, we, we brought that up while recording. Did we bring that up? Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, yeah. I'm really curious what uh, JurassicWorldMovie.com will update. And I'm yeah, also curious if they'll buy FallenKingdomMovie.com well. or something like that. Yeah, or you'll sure. be on that. Checking the URLs. Well, I, no, my site, it doesn't exist anymore. They went to a pay package, $100 a month. See, you're on it. No, I, I'm not on it. Because oh, oh, the, the I see. The website I, I use uh, to track the main yourself. purchases, they, went, they now, you need to pay $100 a month to use the website that I use to track domain purchases. Blast so me. I am not on it anymore. Okay, that makes sense. I wouldn't either. <laughs> Alright guys Well this has been a podcast Fallen 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 no. Fal- fa- Philanthropist no. Fal- fa- Fallen Fallen Oh Fallen Alan. Ki- Philanthropist Fallen. Kingdom Fallen wake up Fallen 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 Kingdom Fallen Kingdom
dot com. No, not dot com. That doesn't exist. One year. Yet. One year away. Let's hope we get a goddamn video game with it. Um, and on that note, uh, hopefully we do another podcast soon. I hope that we get some like character stills or something soon. I know that's being greedy, but I want more, and I want to talk about it. Uh, and let us know what you want to hear us talk about in our next podcasts. Did we, like, lose Jack, Jack at, like... Jack. Well, Jack fell asleep again. Jack's, uh, Jack's gone. Jack decided to leave early. Yo. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> Jack. What the fuck? <laughs> I was going in a right nice rant there as well. I had a great... I was a, doing a great dialogue, and then I was like, why are they not saying anything? Oh. Um, we didn't hear you. So... What was the last thing I said? Uh, I don't like, know. I've been talking. It was before we, we, we you talked about JurassicOutpost.com. So I said, I said, check out JurassicOutpost.com. We're currently running a uh, poll on there, which is what is your favorite Jurassic Park yeah, video we, game? Yeah, we, we got took that. Me, I, I said it took me goddamn ages to write everything on. We got to that write also. every individual game. But I said, <laughs> <laughs> fuck's sake. I was saying. I was leading into this thing. I was saying the DNA factor, the Lost World on Sega Genesis, and Jurassic Park 3 Arcade has zero yeah. votes. So get on it, guys. Only 367 of you have voted, and this is an important poll because we're going to discuss it in the podcast. Was that your, in was that your whole rant, though? Because that was awesome. We got all of it. Ago. Yeah, we that was a long that. time ago. <laughs> Did you hear our rant? Oh. No, man. It cut out. Time is irrelevant. <laughs> Jack just like time. Time doesn't apparently. exist. <laughs> Um, that's fucking lame. Uh, I was just saying, hey, let us know now what you want to hear on our future podcast. And then I was going to say, yeah. hey, are we talking about who we're sponsored by or whatever that stuff with the cease that's been cease has been What's talking that? about? No, 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 because it's not nothing's been worked oh, okay. out. Um, so if you'd like to, so yeah, let's just say check out so check out JurassicOutpost dot com. Um, and obviously, we're running a Jurassic June competition. There's not many days of Jurassic June. We need to pump that out again. Fantastic people. We've seen some fantastic entries so far. So hashtag my Jurassic selfie. There has been some amazing entries already, and it, it's reminding me of the last two last year or the year before that was that it was done as well. There's some really great. These ones are great there. this year, um, but there's less. And you can submit. You can submit as many as you want. It's not just one. So it, go for it, guys. All of them. Go up there and get some volcano on your face. Get some volcano get on your face. That's get what inspired. I always like to do. Some lava. Some just. Well, there's got to be one person out there that lives in a volcano, Pick it up right? With your hand. I mean, it's just logic. I mean, yeah. And rub it on your face. <laughs> <laughs> so, so volcanoes so blowing check loads. Check that out, I guess. Blowing loads all over people's faces, and then they take selfies and win a prize. So. Um, we're not running that type of contest. <laughs> Wait, which site are we on? <laughs> uh, I run a few sites, guys. Landofthelost.com uh, Landofthelost.com By the way, guys, um, FallenKingdomMovie.com is available. So Yeah, I, that was the first thing I looked up, and I was like, no, nah, it doesn't. They don't have it. No, no. Nah. Nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so check that out. But um, yeah, it's, uh, let's wrap it up. Nice one. Thank you so much for listening to episode 56 of the In General Podcast. Um, it's uh, yeah. The official title is Jurassic World: Fallen. One Kingdom. year from today. One let us know what you think year. about the title. Let us know what you want us to talk about, and let us know what you want to see in the sequel. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>